let's go shopping at Walmart. What are the best food deals here at Walmart? I am so glad you asked. We are going to talk about it. I am here to give you the top budget food items you should be picking up at Walmart every single time you go shopping. And also, of course, some favorite products by none other than yours truly, myself. Oh, really, I'm fully qualified. You should always look for the clearance section. There's a lot of candy here today. I do have to say, 44 cent savings, not much of a clearance. The great value brand of the light Greek yogurt is an exact duplicate of the Dan and Lighten Fit for almost half the price. So the Dan and Lighten Fit four pack here at Walmart is like 19 point something cents an ounce. And the great value brand is down at 12 point something cents an ounce. So not quite half, but huge savings. And you guys, it's identical. Tastes the same, the macros are the same, the ingredients are the same. Now, the best option would be to find a sale on your sausage, but if you cannot, the uh, Great Value Original ground sausage is only $2.97 for a one pound roll. It used to be $2.14, but prices have gone up everywhere, right? But Jimmy Dean is like $4.50 a pound, which is astronomical. This is going to be your much better buy. It tastes basically the same as Jimmy Dean, and I am I'm kind of a brand snob on this one, but you guys, it is, it's the same in a different wrapper. The most budget-friendly item in Walmart is the 10-pound chicken leg quarters. Now, my store, this is up to almost $9 for the 10-pound bag. This is up pretty significantly over the past few years, but we're still looking at 87 cents a pound, which is still cheaper than you're going to get this anywhere else. This is a serious question, serious. Pioneer woman, themed products, very, very flowery. Are you a yes or a no? I think we all know that the cost of sodas is going like through the roof. The 12 packs of your name brand sodas here are gonna be six, seven, eight dollars, depending on what you're getting. But the Clear American giant bottles of flavored sparkling water are still only 78 cents. And I'm showing you this one because Fuji Apple is the best flavor. Change my mind, you won't. Did you guys know that Oreos are up to 428. This is almost too much to bear. There are still some good deals on the bread. Bagels being one of them. The Great Value brand of bagels. It's six bagels and it's a dollar ninety-eight. At Dollar Tree, it's a dollar twenty-five for four teeny tiny minuscule little bagels so i really recommend coming to walmart and getting the great value brand they have plain and cinnamon raisin are the two flavors that i saw and if you're going to do bagels don't forget to pick up your generic brand of nutella this is the same the regular nutella for the bigger jar is 30 cents an ounce this one is 18.8 .8 cents an ounce we're talking 40 percent savings every single time you pick a generic that is an exact dupe i think nutella is like the nectar of the gods is like the most delicious thing on the planet. So I don't tend to buy this because I have no self-control. I could down this entire container by myself in like three days. So I'll leave it here today. I haven't talked about this in a long time, but he, since I'm at Walmart and we're talking about the deals, I had to share with you that if you've ever used Ibotta, Ibotta and Walmart have like a deal behind the scenes where Walmart items get the best cash backs, the highest. I'm gonna show you one right now. The salsa is $2 cash back. You can do it up to five times for $10 cash back. I did find the salsas. They have a spicy, um, they have like jalapeno roasted garlic, which looks amazing. So these are $4.98 minus the $2 cash back would make these $2.98, which is pretty good for a really decent salsa. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these and try them out. So if you do shop at Walmart regularly, don't forget to download the Ibotta app and look for the great deals. Not everything is a great deal. In fact, I don't use it on most items, but I do like to look for the, like, the high value products uh, and make sure I put those on my shopping list, especially when they're good. If you've never used Ibotta, I do have a link down below. I think it gives you, I don't know, $5 bonus, $10 bonus. They change it all the time, I'm not sure. This video probably sounds like it should be sponsored by Ibotta, but it's actually sponsored by Lumi. Now you can buy Lumi here at Walmart. It's all over my store, but you're gonna get a better discount by shopping through my link down below. Let me tell you about them real quick. Lumi deodorant is a whole body deodorant for your armpits, and whatever else you might need odor protection from. It's clinically proven to provide 72 hours of odor control 
even for sensitive skin. Listen, if there's anybody that knows about deodorant, it's moi. Um, I'm an active girl, I'm a runner, a mountain biker, a road cyclist, a trail runner, a hiker, and I am smelly. Lumi stops odor before it starts, so I've been using the acidified body wash like in the shower before I put on the deodorant. It's almost like a pre-odorant, okay? For the last year, I've been using the stick one in the clean tangerine scent. That is my favorite scent. But recently, I, start, I started trying out the Invisible Cream deodorant just to see how it compared. I think this one's better for me. I've been using the minted cucumber flavor in this one. And are you ready for the game changer product? The deodorant wipes. I put this in my hiking backpack, in my mountain biking bag, in my car. Do you know how often I have to go like pre-ride a mountain bike course and then come back and be with other people? And I just wanna make sure I'm like fresh and you know, easy to stand next to. <laughs> so does it stain your clothes? <laughs> it doesn't. That's why I wore this dark tank top, the stick, the invisible cream, it goes on invisible. And then you don't have all those white marks on your clothes. Okay, so what's the discount, Christine? I'm so glad you asked. So first of all, it's the first link down in the description box. If you wanna pick it up, it's 15% off of any size order, no minimum. And if you spend over $30, it's free shipping. This is for new customers only, wanted to throw that out there. Use the code FRUGAL15, FRUGAL15 is the code. If you wanna click through the link, it's the first link down in the doobly-doo, I'll also put it in the comments for you. Huge thanks to Lumi for letting me try out their products and for giving you guys an awesome code to try them out as well. Now let's head back to Walmart for more awesome finds. I have shocking news. I went into my pantry to get some oatmeal to make no-bake cookies for my son's friends who came over to watch a movie. Cool runnings, by the way. And I was 100% out of oatmeal. 100% out of oatmeal. I went to my local store, picked up the generic brand, right? It was like 5.50, and I'm thinking, that cannot be right. That feels like a lot for this type of oatmeal. Run to Walmart, 3.98 versus 5.50 at a regular grocery store. Walmart will beat out every other store for the generic brand of oats. I mean, maybe you could get it cheaper if you get a bulk bin store somewhere, but if you are running an emergency because you need to make no bake cookies and you don't have any of this, $3.98 at Walmart. I know what you're thinking, Christine, what about the health and fitness? I'm so glad you asked. Let's head to the frozen section where you can get the cheapest frozen fruits and veggies. Four pounds of frozen strawberries, $8.76. I can't even get fresh strawberries for that. And where I live, strawberries go bad like, like this. I've done all the tricks, the mason jars, the vinegar wash, the not wash, that it doesn't matter. We don't grow strawberries where I live. They don't last very long. One pound of blueberries for $2.47. I can't even get fresh blueberries for that. Frozen veggies. Can you do better than this for frozen veggies? Not really. I can't even get these prices at like Sam's Club or Costco. 12 ounces for $1.16 in a reasonable size package that you can steam right in the bag. You don't have to worry about your broccoli going slimy. You don't have to worry about trimming the ends off the fresh green beans that they are ready for you when you are ready for them. I love frozen veggies and fruit for the convenience. They're frozen at peak freshness and ripeness. They're always in season and they don't go bad so you don't have to throw them away. The pasta aisle. The Great Value brand for the two pound containers, which I have found in almost every shape of pasta now, is only a dollar 92 that breaks down to six cents an ounce for the giant two pound containers this is a great deal and i have heard that the great value pasta is an exact dupe of the barilla pasta they're both even in a blue box they just have a different label on them and when you compare 11 cents an ounce to six cents an ounce that's almost half it's, it's truly shocking how much you can save just by going with the generic product i know i've said that a lot in this video but it's true like i can't even believe this it's literally half. Who doesn't love a Pop-Tart? It's excellent hiking and mountain biking fuel because it's small, super calorie dense, and tastes delicious. Now, the name brand of Pop-Tarts here at this store, we're looking at 19.4 cents an ounce. You can get these at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is $1.25 for a pack of six, but if you go up to the pack of 12 in the Great Value brand, it's $1.92, which brings it down to 9.5 cents an ounce. That is cheaper than Dollar Tree for the Toastums, Popsums, <laughs> Toastums. Unfrosted Pop-Tarts? What kind of 
a psycho eats those. I take the stance that brown sugar cinnamon and strawberry, frosted strawberry, are the two best Pop-Tart flavors. What say you? If you have not tried the Great Value Trail Mix flavors, you have not lived. This uh, mountain trail mix is basically the exact same as the Kirkland brand. Uh, but if you don't have access to a Costco or you don't wanna go fight the crowds or you don't wanna pay like $11, you only wanna pay $5.98, you can come to Walmart. I have tried and can recommend almost every single flavor. The Tex-Mex, yes. The Cajun flavor, absolutely. The peanut butter flavor, uh, uh yes. The caramel flavor, 100%. The birthday cake, 10 out of 10. Again, another great item for like mountain biking and hiking, super high calorie, uh, don't take up a lot of room and tastes delicious. And while we are on the snack aisle, I would be remiss not to share with you the inflation proof toasted coconut cashews, 428, 438, I think these still are. These haven't gone up in price at all in like the last four years, but also don't buy them because you'll eat the entire can in one sitting. That's how good they are. I have never, seen its equal. I have seen the face of God. Also on Ibotta, they have a dollar off two of the two good smoothie drinks. Another dollar 42 here at my Walmart, which makes each one 92 cents. These are an excellent addition to your kids' lunches for you to throw in your car if you're running out the door and you need a quick breakfast. It's a much better choice than a donut or running through McDonald's. You can find some awesome deals on Ibotta through Walmart, so I highly recommend you check it out. As a general rule, pancake mixes are not my jam. Um, in fact, pancakes in general are not my jam. I much prefer a homemade pancake to basically anything else on the shelf. That includes the frozen ones, that includes the Kodiak cakes. Yeah, sorry. What did you think she is? How dare she? Homemade reigns supreme. However, if you're gonna pick one, it's this one. It's the Krusty's Sweet Cream. These are freaking bomb. I don't know why these are so much better. You can do pancakes or waffles out of these. It's 276 for this box. It's it's a hair higher than like this one. This one's two dollars. This one's 276. But this one is so much yummier. It's like subtle, but rich, but like a little bit sweet, just enough to make you go back for more. The sucker's money. What is, what is this? <laughs> For $30, you too could have your own bin of Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Sign me up. Have we gone overboard with the Reese's? Have we, have, like does Walmart think it's Costco? What is this? What are we doing? I have said it before, I will say it again. If you are not picking up the chicken dipping sauce from Walmart, you must be brand new to my channel, brand new. If you are brand spanking new, would you please subscribe and hit that like button? This is an exact dupe of Chick-fil-A sauce, exactly. You don't have to ask them to put eight packets in your thing anymore, you can just go buy this. Recreate your own Chick-fil-A at home, even on Sunday, with Chick-fil-A's clothes. I wanna tell you about a product I found really, really recently, thanks to a friend of mine. It's the Ranch Hidden Valley Dips mixes. Okay, so you can get the ranch dressing flavor, but you could also get the creamy dill flavor, which is amazing. This one, and then if you can find the Fiesta, I can't find the Fiesta in my state. In the state. So when I travel to a different state, I look for it. I look for the Fiesta and I buy like five packets and I bring them home. You mix it with sour cream, or if you want a protein hack, you can mix it with blended cottage cheese. What, what am I saying? You take low fat cottage cheese, you put it in your food processor or blender, until it's smooth, mix this in. You have a high protein, highly flavorful veggie dip. The dill and the Fiesta flavor are bomb. Okay friends, what are your favorite Walmart food deals and products that I didn't mention in today's video? Let everybody know down in the comments so they know what to put on their shopping lists as well. And remember, if you wanna check out that deal from Lumi, it's the first link down in the description box. Thank you so much for shopping with me today at the Wally Mart, and I'll see you in the next video, bye. I'm hesitant to tell you this because I'm feeling like you're gonna think I have <laughs> some issues with food because I feel like when I explained the Cinnabon experience, 
And then when I explain this experience, you're gonna think I'm obsessed with food, which may actually be true, so maybe it's fine. But listen, this last weekend, I was in Seattle for the regional men's gymnastic meet for my son. Uh, I got the plane tickets for free, so that was pretty sick. My son's gonna go swimming at the hotel pool with one of his teammates. And I'm texting with the dad, and the dad's like, oh, we're at Cheesecake Factory. I'll let you know when we leave. Cheesecake Factory? Dang, I haven't had one of those cheesecakes in a minute. Uh, I don't live close to one. The closest one is a four and a half hour drive. And I'm like, <laughs> I text him back and I'm like, um, if I had you order a cheesecake to go and bring it and I paid you when you got here, would that be weird? <laughs> and he was like, no, what, here's the menu. What do you want? Oh my gosh. I ordered the Adam's peanut butter cup cheesecake and it was more delicious than I remember. If you are a peanut butter and chocolate fanatic and you have access to a Cheesecake Factory and you are not going for like a birthday or an anniversary and getting the Adam's Peanut Butter Cup Cheesecake, this is what you need to do. You need to go get one. I, I can't even eat a whole slice. It's two bites in and I'm like, woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh, the peanut butter, the chunks of peanut butter cup, the richness of the peanut butter cheesecake, the chocolate crust. It's like $11 for a slice of cheesecake. Astronomical and worth every dime. I shared it with my son, Tyler. He never had it before. He'd never been to Cheesecake Factory before. He takes a bite and he was like, oh, what in the ever loving beautifulness is this? And I was like, exactly. If I was a poet, I would write poetry. If I was a painter, if I was Bob Ross, I would paint a scene of happy little cheesecakes. If I was a songwriter, I would write a song expressing my love to the peanut butter cup cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. I don't have any of those skills. So all I can do is tell you about it and to go to Cheesecake Factory, order it, try it, fall in love, die happy. That's all you need.